For the 60th birthday of the King of the Monsters, Toho decided to give the rights to Warner Brothers for a reboot. Obviously, some fans were skeptical if they would pull the same crap that Tristar did in Godzilla 98, but when it came, it was a relief that it didn't. But is it any good? Well, let's see. In 1999, an organization known as Monarch finds two giant spores in the Philippines, where one is dormant and another has hatched. The creature that hatch ends up causing a tremor in a Japanese power plant, killing a team of technicians, one of them being the wife of supervisor Joe Brody, played by Brian Cranston. Fifteen years later, his son, Ford, a U.S. Navy, bails him out of jail in Japan for trespassing in a quarantine zone in Janjira. The reason why is because he's determined the tremor wasn't an accident, and once going in the quarantine zone, they find out that it's not quarantine. But once they get caught, they are taken to the plant's ruins where Monarch is studying on a massive chrysalis that's feeding on the plant's reactors. It then hatches into a giant insect monster, layer dubbed Muto, killing Joe on its rampage. Once it's free, the only thing that can stop him is, well, if you know what this movie is about, you probably know the answer. Now before I talk about the rest of the movie, I have to rant on the advertising for this film, which is basically a complete lie. Most of the TV spots and trailers for this film say that Godzilla is the main antagonist, but when you actually see the movie, the villain is actually the Muto, or Mutos, given that another one shows up. And yes, I am aware of what most fans hate about this film, is that Godzilla barely appears in it. When the film is about to get to a fight between Godzilla and the Muto, it cuts to another boring scene, which is highly repetitive. It's such a shame because Godzilla's design is phenomenal here. It looks like Godzilla, it feels like Godzilla, and it sounds like Godzilla. Everything that that pitiful excuse for reboot back in 1998 should have been. The Mutos are okay in my opinion. They don't seem threatening, but kudos to this film for trying to make original monsters. I think the best thing about this film is the mystery and suspense that's executed in this film, and most of that is carried by a brilliant acting. Of course, I'm going to have to give kudos to the acting when you have Brian Cranston as part of your cast, but I am also pissed that they kill him off too. My final rating, 3.5 out of 5 stars. It was a pretty decent reboot for Godzilla with some applause, but I'd recommend it. Being the huge excess in the box office, this prompted Toho to make their own reboot in the form of Shin Godzilla.